Welcome to Lesson 6 of ATC Pro. This lesson will demonstrate how to do instrument approaches at the Albuquerque facility. I will be demonstrating how to do both the ILS and the RNAV using the same scenario as the last lesson. Let's get a new scenario set up on the duty desk. Make the following settings. For the facility, Albuquerque Sunport. For the weather, East Flow, Wind 080 degrees at 5 knots, Storms, this will be IMC, Instrument Meteorological Conditions, so we want it rough. For traffic, departures, all set to 0%, arrivals, commercial sent to 100%, all other set to 0%. For the position, set the north to user control and the south to computer control. For time, set from your current time and day to 11.22 on Saturday. Note that you can right click and choose from the previous times menu to get a previous time, 11.22. Go ahead and click the begin your shift button. Now let's get started. When the program finishes loading, go ahead and pause the sim to rearrange the pop-up windows on the scope for your R controlling session. On the COM panel, click on the TX cell and RX cell buttons on the first row, if not already on. You can close this window to get it out of the way if you want. On the left side of the scope, you will see the flight information strip window. Resize the window to take up less space by dragging the arrows that appear at the top and bottom of the window. You can move the smaller window to an out-of-the-way location, like over here on the right. In the blue communications history window, on the lower left, you can resize this window too to take up less space in the same way as a strip window by dragging the arrows. Unpause the sim and I'll explain what's going on. Observe the briefing so we know that the scope is under our control. Albuquerque Airport is IFR, operating east low. Altimeter is 2959er, fully staffed. Runways. Eight, one, two, three, and use. Okay, your scope. Notice here is SkyWest 4462 coming along as in the last lesson. Let's go ahead and pause again so we can make some changes on the DCB. Click on the range button and roll your mouse until it shows a range of 30. Click again to lock it in. Click on maps, then click on map six to show the minimum vector altitudes or MVA. Notice these numbers that stand for altitudes at hundreds of feet. We want to make sure we're not descending an aircraft below the minimum altitude that is safe. Unpause for now and notice SkyWest 4462's data tag is white and flashing. That means a center controller is trying to hand him off to us. Click on the Charlie of the data tag and it will change to a November for our position. Now a flight strip will pop up in the strip window under arrivals. Albuquerque, approach good morning, Sky West 4462 is with you level at 15000, with information Victor. Flight Sky West 4462 has just called us up to say he is on our frequency, and that he has listened to the current ATIS information broadcast with the letter Victor that contains basic weather conditions, active runways, etc. Now we can let him know he is with us, and since the weather is instrument conditions, we will tell him what instrument approach to use and which runway to expect. In this case, we will give him an ILS, or instrument landing system, approach for runway 8, since the wind is from the east. Note the ILS approach is never spoken by the letter, such as India, Lima, Sierra. It is pronounced ILS. I will give that command now. Skywest 4462, expect vectors, ILS, runway 8, approach. Expect vectors for the ILS, the runway 8, Skywest 4462. Pause the sim again so we can set up a couple more maps. Click on the Maps button, then click on ARRDEP button, then Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec. Notice on the flight strip it says Lobo, which is the name of the arrival route that he is following. Click on map 405, which is the Lobo 3 standard terminal arrival route, or STAR, that will let us know what route he is taking coming in. 
Now click on Approach, then Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec, and then map number 204, which is an ILS approach diagram for runway 8. Click on Done. Unpause the sim to continue. When we get the handoff from center, SkyWest 4462 is at 15,000 feet. After crossing our airspace boundary, we give an initial descent that is above the MVA, which is 84 or 8,400 feet. Let's give him an initial descent of 11,000. I'll give the command now. Guy West 4462, descend and maintain 11,000. Descend and maintain 11,000, Sky West 4462. Next, we want to give him a heading so he'll be in a good position for the instrument approach to the airport. We can give him the heading along this line here, which is 1 tree 5. I will give the command now. Sky West 4462, turn right heading 1 tree 5. 1 3 5 Sky West 4462. Note that it is best to give the turn direction, not just say turn heading 1 tree 5. When he crosses this next line of the MVA, we can give the next step of the descent, which can't be lower than 75 or 7,500 feet. Since the field elevation of Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec is 5,355 feet, we want to give an approach altitude that is roughly 3,000 feet above ground level, or AGL. We will give 8,000 as the final approach altitude here. Let's skip ahead a little for the next command. I will give the descent command now. Skywiz 4462, descend and maintain 8000. Descend and maintain 8000, Skywest 4462. When he gets to the point where the bottom of the data tag is about touching this racetrack shape line about three miles away from the extended runway center line, pause the sim while I describe the instrument approach. The first part of giving an ILS approach clearance is to give him a distance or position from the final approach fix where the pilot will determine if he can proceed with a normal approach or break it off and make a missed approach. The position would be about 8 miles from soup pot. The next part to give is the turn or heading to intercept the final approach course of 080. The heading should be at a 30 degree angle to the runway heading. In this case, 100 so the aircraft can make a gentle turn. The next part is to give altitude to maintain until intercepting the glide slope, at which point the pilot would follow the beam with his instruments down to the runway. In this case we give 8000 as our approach altitude. The last part of the clearance is giving the actual approach clearance. This sequence is sometimes referred to as the PTAC to better remember it. It sounds complicated, but when you put it all together it is pretty straightforward. Unpause and I'll give the full clearance. Note that we have to break it into two commands due to the current limitation of three commands in one transmission. Guy West 4462, 8 miles from soup pot. Guy West 4462, turn left heading 100, maintain 8000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS runway 8 approach. Turn left heading 100, descend and maintain 0,000 cleared for the ILS for runway 8, sky west 4462. The aircraft will turn to intercept the localizer and line up with the runway, then descend along the glide slope for landing. Let's skip ahead while Southwest 2004 makes his approach. Near Soup Pot, the final approach fix, or FAF, his data tag will turn green. Now you can give the pilot the change to the tower's frequency. Sky West 4462, contact tower on 120.3. Albuquerque tower on 120.3, Sky West 4462. When the flight strip disappears from the flight strip window, you know Sky West 4462 is not owned by you anymore. Note that what looks like a duplicate data tag in yellow above Sky West 4462's data tag is called a Crossing Runway Display Aid or CERDA. It gives a visual reference for aircraft spacing that are landing on converging runways. This display can be turned off with a keyboard command shown on the reference sheet. Now we will practice an RNAV approach on the next arrival from the northwest, Southwest 2004. Notice Southwest 2004's data tag is white and flashing. 
Click on the Charlie of the data tag and it will change to a November for our position. Note if you forget how to pronounce the call sign on any aircraft, you can right click on the target to bring up the command menu that shows how to speak the call sign. Albuquerque a flight strip will pop up in the strip window with under arrivals. At 1, with information Victor. Flight Southwest 2004 has just called us up to say he's on our frequency and that he has listened to the current ATIS information. Now we can let him know he is with us and since the weather is instrument conditions we will tell him what instrument approach and runway to expect. This time we will give him an RNAV approach for runway 8 since the wind is from the east. RNAV stands for Random Navigation or Area Navigation. It is pronounced RNAV. I will give that command now. Southwest 2004, expect vectors, RNAV, runway 8 approach. Expect vectors for the RNAV for runway 8 Southwest 2004. Pause the sim again so we can set up a map of the RNAV approach. Click on the Maps button, then click on Approach, then Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec, and then Map Number 208 which is an RNAV approach diagram for runway 8. Click on Done. Unpause the sim. We get the handoff from center with Southwest 2004 at 15,000 feet. After crossing our airspace boundary, we give an initial descent that is above the MVA, which is 84 or 8,400 feet. Give him an initial descent to 11,000 as before. I'll give the command now. Southwest 2004, descend and maintain 11,000. Descend and maintain one one thousand. Now Southwest let's give Southwest 2004. 2004 a command to go direct to the first fix of the RNAV approach, which in this case is Chimster. I'll give that command now so you can practice. Southwest 2004, proceed direct Chimster. Direct Chimster, Southwest 2004. Once Southwest 2004 begins the RNAV approach, he will descend as dictated by the approach profile and follow the waypoints all the way to the runway and land. We can use 9000 as the initial approach altitude for the RNAV. Let's skip ahead a little for the next command. We can use 9000 as the initial approach altitude for the RNAV. I will give the descent command now. Southwest 2004, descend and maintain 9000. Descend and maintain 9000, Southwest 2004. We can wait for Southwest 2004 to get a little closer to Chimster, then give the RNAV approach clearance. Southwest 2004, maintain at or above 9000 until Chimster, cleared RNAV runway 8 approach. RNAV for runway 8 Southwest 2004. Now the aircraft will continue to head to Chimster, then descend while following the waypoints of the approach. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson 7, you will practice controlling two departing aircraft at the same time. You can click on the X in the upper right corner to end the lesson.